What's happening everyone? I want to take a minute and show you the progress of my new plane that I'm working on. Uh, let me first show you the reason I'm building it. So I built this plane like a month ago. It's supposed to be like a Piper Archer. And uh, it's really heavy for how small it is. It's only got like a 35 inch wingspan. And it weighs like 650 grams or something like that. And I've crashed it like three times and the nose has done this shattered because because I'm not very good at flying heavy planes yet uh, so I wanted to I put a little camera on at the tail and I was flying around like with the FPV on the tail like that and it was a pretty neat view so I wanted to build a new plane that I could do that with and that would be able to carry a little more weight so that's why I'm building this plane uh, I think each piece each side of the wing is 24 inches because I just used one of these pieces I think they're each two I think they're two foot by two foot because I just cut the wings out of that I didn't shorten them up at all so we got about two feet on each side plus the fuselage is five inches thick so about 48 53 inches wingspan and it's uh, about seven and a half inches uh, cord so let me go ahead and show you uh, the progress I made on it. Uh, first of all, I designed this plane entirely on my computer in Fusion 360. I printed out these plans. So I'll be able to uh, post these online if anybody wants to build this plane. If it turns out to be a good flying plane. But it's basically, I take one of these big pieces of one inch thick foam. I use my hot wire cutter and I put a stencil on the side and I cut it right in half. So then I have two half inch pieces of it and then I use that to build all the parts of the plane except for the wing the wing is made out it's carved out of a full one inch thick piece so basically when I built the fuselage I divided it into three sections I built like the middle piece here and then the nose and then the tail and then I just glued those three together so I cut out all the side panels and stuff based off these dimensions so that's just like a square and that was like a trapezoid and cut all the shapes out and then I glued them together and sanded it down a whole bunch to kind of make it smooth together better. I haven't got any electronics installed yet. Um, I'm planning on running it off of a mini quad motor. One of these 2206, 2350 kV motors that I have laying around. I'm going to try to run it off a 7 inch propeller and I'm thinking uh, about running it on 3s so I think 3s with a 7 inch propeller on one of these should work okay um, we'll see so I got like a piece of wood on here I'll take this piece off this is the battery bay there's a piece of wood on here for the motor mount and then I got a 3d printed little bracket that I made that I can screw the motor into and then I will bolt that onto there so inside there's a little bulkhead thing there but you see I glued it all together with Gorilla Glue and that stuff is awesome and I held it together with uh, like masking tape like this stuff while the glue dried um, so I've also got a lot of 3D printed parts on it so the wings held on with these rubber bands on the inside I thought it'd be cool to try putting the rubber bands through the inside like this instead of on the outside like most of these kind of planes do so I've, I made these 3d printed these little pieces just so that the rubber bands don't like dent the foam after a while I've got one there too but it kinda doesn't really do anything because there's a piece of foam here too on the fuselage but I'll deal with that later so the little rods go through there I'm still not sure about these holes what I'm gonna do I might just leave it like that it probably won't affect anything but yeah, I got these big, like, bush tires on it. They each weigh, like, 50 grams, so that's quite a lot. But they're, like, 3-inch diameter. So it should be pretty good for takeoff and landing and some high grass. Uh, I 3D printed this, this mount. And the, the wire, landing gear wire, just pops in there. And then that piece goes up inside the fuselage. And, and that's what this little piece of foam here is sitting on top of. 
This is where the battery is going to go. I'll probably wrap a battery strap around it. Put some Velcro on there. Uh, let me pop this one off. So, the wing is still got a lot of work to do. I don't have any of the spars in the wing yet. Uh, my plan is to use these things, which is what I always use. They're just uh, like six inch or six millimeter by one millimeter carbon fiber strips. I put like three or four of these in the wing. Put like a couple on the top and a couple on the bottom. That usually makes it pretty stiff. I already have one in the in the tail surfaces. So I got one here on the vertical stabilizer and it goes down into the fuselage so it has makes it pretty sturdy. And then I have one on the horizontal stabilizer too there. So that makes those pretty sturdy. Uh, I got this, I ran this wire through, this is for the FPV camera, which is gonna be mounted there. I'm gonna use these little, this little mini camera that I got. It's a Runcam Swift 3 Micro, I think. But that's gonna go like right here on the tail. And it's gonna be, give a nice shot, like of the wing and the front. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So that's what this is for. I ran that through so I could get access it since this is all glued in already. It pops out up here. And then this is the hole for the elevator servo rod. And I haven't got the rudder servo rod in yet, but it's gonna attach on the side of the stabilizer here. And I'll probably just heat up the wire and poke it right through the foam. It'll pop out here somewhere and I'll put the servo in there. Um, I'll probably just use nine gram servos on this. I think that should work fine. So here I got the elevator and the two ailerons. Haven't got those installed yet. But I've got the rudder on and I'm going to install the other ones the same way. It's just these little nylon hinges. Uh, I just cut a little slice in it, the foam. And then I put some hot glue in there and then I just push the hinge in. It seems to hold it pretty good. So on the tail skid, I 3D printed this little piece that goes on there since it's going to be dragging that around on the ground a lot uh, so it doesn't like destroy the foam so hopefully it just only encounters it on that plastic piece so that should work pretty good my one concern is that this plane might not be able to balance right because the wing i designed it so the wing has to go here you can't really move it back at all so i gonna have to have a lot of weight up here to counterbalance the tail and this motor is pretty small, so I might end up using a pretty big battery. So we'll have to see how that works. These, these wheels will definitely help though, because they're really heavy. This whole contraption, the landing gear is like 120 grams or something like that. Uh, as far as the rest of the electronics go, I'll probably, I might use this ESC, or I might use one of those little tiny mini quad ESCs. I'm not sure yet. Um, I ordered some new servos. They're Emacs, 9 gram servos, so, but they're pretty much the same as these. So I'll be using those. This is the receiver I'm going to use. It's a FreeSky S6R. It has like a uh, gyro stabilization in it. So that'll be pretty cool. It should make it easier to fly. I don't know how this works yet. I'm going to have to figure it out but it should be neat. I think it has like a auto self-leveling mode or something. But at least it'll like fight the wind or help with that. So that'd be pretty neat. This is the battery door thing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach it yet. I might use magnets. Yeah, I might put, I might put neodymium magnets here or there somewhere to hold this thing on. Even though it's pretty tight fit, I might not need to do that, it might just stay on by itself. But then it might fall off in flight. That kind of suck. So yeah, I'll uh, hopefully be painting it soon. And I'll post some more updates as I get more done. So that's all for now. See ya.